Am I seeing this right? To five five reasons to buy Xbox One instead of PS4 in 2019. Eric, Eric King. Who's Eric King? Well, get Forbes. What's what? All right, I, I can dig it. Let's talk about it. Five reasons to own the Xbox One over the PlayStation 4 in 2019. Well, in my opinion, this is definitely one of them. Xbox One X. Hey, it is an Xbox One. Absolutely phenomenal performance. Metro Exodus looking gorgeous. Running at native 4K on this thing. But hey, I want to go over this article from Forbes. I know what many of you are thinking. Oh my God, Forbes. Woo, talk about credibility there. Well, uh, hey, we're going to go over their article. Five reasons why to own an Xbox One over a PlayStation 4 in 2019 assess the reasons critique the reasons maybe add our own and i hope you join me down in the comments let me know your five reasons to get an xbox one over a ps4 or maybe not in 2019 so once more let me know your thoughts down below let's get into the article So I'm going to do you a massive favor and spare you the whole preface of the article where they explain that the Xbox One is ugly, but it's still worth loving. The first reason that Mr. Kane has on his list of five for owning the Xbox One over the PlayStation 4 Pro is... You guessed it, backwards compatibility. Now, I wouldn't put this as the number one spot, but no other console does backwards compatibility quite like the Xbox One X. Even the base Xbox One outclasses all the consoles when it comes to backwards compatibility. If you didn't know, you can play original Xbox games, you can play Xbox 360 games, Xbox One games, and Xbox One X versions of Xbox One games. Add to that the fact that many Xbox 360 games, as well as original 2001 Xbox games, have actually been patched to run at native 4K, along with better texture filtering. It is the ultimate in backwards compatibility, so much so that there have been patents filed recently by Sony for similar types of backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 5. It's the real deal. <laughs> kind of like my podcast. It's also something that no other console is doing right now. So let me know. Do you agree? Should it get the number one spot or should it even be in the top five at all? Let me know down below. Myself, I get why it's on here. It's definitely probably deserving of a top five slot, but I would definitely choose some other things above backwards compatibility. If, of course, I were forced to. But hey, that's the beauty of it. You don't got to pick and choose. You can have it all. So let's move on to the next one. The second best reason to own an Xbox One over a PS4 in 2019, according to Forbes, Mr. Kane, Mr. Dean Kane, is the fact that PS Plus no longer offers a competitive number of titles each month, essentially. Says here, Xbox Games of Gold is now twice as good as PS Plus. I guess they're referencing the fact that PlayStation Plus no longer offers virtual reality and handheld games with their PlayStation Plus membership, whereas Xbox offers both current and backward compatible games. So Sony offer only two games now, while Microsoft offer four. Now, to me, this is a little bit silly. I mean, Xbox, Games with Gold, PS Plus, whether or not you get value from it is all very variable. And while you do receive games in return for your paid membership, not everybody uses them. And those who do probably don't go and recommend consoles based off of either Games with Gold or PS Plus. Don't get me wrong. It's great. It's good that they both started doing this, but it is not something that I would say, hey, go buy an Xbox for. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one down below. I thought it was kind of silly. Number three is actually pretty legit. Xbox Game Pass is a, and they worded this perfectly, is a steal. Yes, it's true. For $9.99 a month, you can rent upwards of 150 or so games, including all of the latest and greatest first party titles. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, you got Sea of Thieves and that was a fail, or you got State of Decay and I'm not playing that today. But you know what you're not thinking about is games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears of War 5 or one of the many new games that newly acquired Microsoft Studios will be bringing. 
And the best part is, Game Pass is worth this $10 a month even without any of this first party content, which does come day and date. And if you are a subscriber of Game Pass, you can also play the Xbox Play Anywhere versions of these games on your PC for free. And with recent news, or leaks rather, of Xbox games being installable natively to your PC, this includes Xbox Game Pass, you may even be able to install these games and play them natively on your PC, all of them for 10 bucks a month. Long story short, Game Pass is a steal. I've been a heavy advocate. It's a pro consumer service when it comes down to it. Go rent one game for a week for five or 10 bucks or rent 150 for an entire month. Download them and play them as much as you want for 10 bucks a month. It's an absolute steal. So yeah, they had this at number three. Let me know if you disagree. Maybe it should be higher, lower. Let me know your thoughts down below. Number four is also pretty legit, pretty accurate. Xbox One X is a beast, quote unquote, and it is absolutely the case. 99% of the footage you see on my channel, Xbox One X, phenomenal visuals for well under 500 bucks at this point. You can often find Xbox One X for sale for about 400 bucks. And in my opinion, when it comes to consoles, you cannot go wrong, keeping in mind that most people play a lot of different types of games. Yes, unfortunately for some, this does mean third-party content, where Xbox One X obviously delivers by far the best version 99.9% .9 of the time when it comes to consoles. So while some focus on the fact that first party is obviously building over Microsoft and that you may not have God of War or Spider-Man from 2018, people that live next to me on planet Earth will say, hey, I like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Which console plays that the best? That's Xbox One X. Others will say, hey, what do I get for my 400 bucks when I buy this console? Can I play the latest and greatest Blu-rays? Yes, with Xbox One X, you can. Audio files will say, hey, does it have Dolby Atmos? Yes, the Xbox platform has Dolby Atmos, unlike some others. Fans of Fantastic HDR might ask, hey, is there Dolby Vision? Yes, once again, the Xbox platform is the only console platform to support Dolby Vision right now. Creators may say, hey, that footage looks really good. Did that come from a console? Yes, it did. I simply inserted a flash drive and recorded 4K60 footage up to an hour at a time, inserted it into this PC, edited it, and here you go. Xbox One X covers a lot of bases, and it's not just a little bit more capable than my PS4 Pro. It's a lot more capable. As I mentioned before, this thing commonly renders over double the resolution with increased effects and 4K textures. It really is a monster, especially for the price. But hey, let me know if you agree with the number four spot here and what features of the Xbox One X you may or may not enjoy. Myself, I think is the best console ever designed. Number five, new acquisitions. Now, unless you've been living under a rock that's underneath some more rocks, you probably know that Microsoft have acquired a bunch of new studios. In fact, they've over doubled their studio count since E3 2018. This ranges from studios like In Exile, makers of quality strategy games, up to Ninja Theory and Obsidian. Yes, makers of Fallout New Vegas. Microsoft are not kidding around. They know they need to spend money. They've done so, and they've doubled down with services like Game Pass. On top of all of that, you've got things like xCloud, their streaming service in 2020 that will allow you to play your games wherever you want. Now, in a way, this does contradict their number five title by saying it changes the exclusive landscape. Now, if by exclusive you mean, hey, you will have to sign into a Microsoft account somewhere to play your games, then sure, it is exclusive to Microsoft accounts. You will have to play it on Microsoft platforms. But the idea of things like Play Anywhere and xCloud is to let you play your games, your purchases, wherever you want. This is a good thing no matter how many times people try to spin it. It's not that it's good because Microsoft decided to do it. It's good because thinking as a consumer, there are no downsides to this. 
unless you're going to come up with some fear mongering things that you're just pulling out of nowhere with no examples no proof as of right now it looks great and it's good for the consumer it's options but to mr kane's point more studios equals more games this is great for anyone gaming on an xbox live account So once more, let me know what you think down below. Would you agree with this list? And furthermore, would you agree with the order of this list? Personally, I would have to put friends in the number one position. If you've got friends on a platform, that's going to encourage you to buy that platform. Xbox One X would definitely have to be up there as well. This console has literally changed console gaming for a lot of people. Xbox Game Pass, you cannot skip that. There's just a ton of things about the platform that are great for a lot of people in a lot of different ways. I myself would also personally have to put the Xbox One X Game DVR in there. 4K60 HDR footage, so easily acquired. This kind of capability in a capture card cost three or four hundred dollars just to bring you this footage at this fidelity using an external capture device would cost hundreds of dollars but with xbox one x game dvr i plug in a flash drive i go i just find a lot of value in that so that would also have to be in the top five for me let me know what your top five is thank you so much for rocking out with me on this video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or learned something today agree with the message if you're an xbox fan share this with a buddy or two it really helps we try to push positivity here i gotta give a big shout out to my patrons they make this possible these guys have had my back and i want to thank all of you so once more, let me know what you think. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Dealer. I'm out.